teachers used to be the sole source of knowledge and information. Nowadays, it's not just the teachers or professors. It's the network. It's the people around you. It's the, the network that has connection to so many different things around the world. They could be the source of knowledge, information, and wisdom. And we're living in a, a such connected environment and connected society. So the more you're connected, you have more sources of knowledge. And that's how I believe it. So will we have universities in the future? I don't know how future we're looking at, but probably for many years to come, we will still have universities because of the social and cultural DNA, uh, meaning that the people will continue to teach the way that they have been taught, and uh, students will uh, probably uh, feel com comfortable using the paper uh, book uh, to read. So until we have some generational changes, uh, universities will be there. At the same time, the research universities will always be there anyway. Research universities meaning uh, the ones that are more focused on uh, experimentations and uh, a lot of uh, discoveries uh, from their labs and so forth. These universities will remain uh, intact. But teaching universities will be quite influenced by the, the trends and the, the developments that are taking place now. The teaching universities will have to become more efficient and more effective in terms of reaching out the global audience and then making learning more engageable. In that sense, I think that the teaching universities may not be there in the long run because uh, in the long run, the network effect, the, the scattered knowledge and uh, uh, wisdom in the network, therefore, those people who are seeking knowledge will be able to find it if they are connected. So connectivity is going to be a human right pretty soon because without the connectivity, you probably cannot function as a, a, a human in, in, the, uh, in the new century. So with the connectivity given, I think that people will be able to find things uh, easily on the network. Therefore, the teachers and professors, the, th those words probably may not be appropriate in the future. I think more of a facilitator, more of a supporter uh, who can help people find things, who can uh, help people uh, reach uh, the sort of the the desired learning goals. I think those will be more appropriate uh, kind of uh, uh, functioning jobs in the future, not just explaining things, because we don't need people to explain things anymore, because you can f find it. And also, you can uh, store a lot of things on the network. You don't have to memorize too many things. Some people may think that it's sad that people don't memorize things and don't remember things, but we can always pull out our phone and then search things. Uh, that means we, are, we should be focusing on getting the new kinds of skill sets, not necessarily memorizing better, but finding things better and organizing information better. And those are the kinds of things that we will want to uh, learn how to do better in the future. SMILE stands for Stanford Mobile inquiry-based learning environment. Smart Project is to engage students in creating questions. Because I believe getting students to memorize facts, maybe it is helpful in certain ways at a certain level, but can they really go out and transfer their knowledge? Can they be an effective workforce? I, I doubt that. I think in the 21st century, we need students who can do more analytical work, who can do more problem solving at a much deeper level, and therefore we need to uh, equip our students with new kind of competencies, uh, better uh, analytical skills, better presentation skills, 
better evaluation skills, etc. These things cannot come from fact memorization, which we do a lot in schools today. So by getting students to create questions that are relevant, meaningful, interesting for them, and sharing such questions with their peers, they are solving each other's problems, they are evaluating each other's work, etc. I think that's much better learning than just a teacher standing in front of students and explaining everything. I have traveled to about 26 countries around the world and reached out more than 25,000 students with this particular project. I'm working with the various uh, volunteers from many different countries to promote this uh, pedagogical model because SMILE is not a technology to me. It is more of a pedagogy, although we use technology in it to make it more effective. Um, so I think that it's a, a paradigm shift that we are uh, seeking and also promoting. Um, so hopefully that uh, we'll move from just getting kids to memorize things to create, present, evaluate, solve, etc. Uh, by doing so, I, I think that our students will be better prepared to solve the kind of problems that the new century will be introducing them.